Hello everybody, welcome back. Bo, five week is over. Canelo versus GGG finally happened. And I think it's time. I've been thinking a lot about this fight. And it's time to make a video, kind of go over it. Um, of course, the fight didn't live up to the fan expectations. A lot of us were hoping that on the third fight, finally there was going to be a knockout. Uh, somebody was going to hit the canvas. But um, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, both of them were claiming that from the beginning. Canelo said from the get go, I'm going to go for the knockout. But uh, no knockout as both of them claim. Even less action the Canelo versus GG number two. If you go back and see the fight, uh, there was not a lot of action and this one had even less. Uh, neither fighter had the intentions to end the fight early. Uh, both of them were happy just to use the jab, stay there in the middle of the ring, and really not engage a lot. Um, I really thought it was going to be different. I really thought this time, uh, particularly from Canelo, uh, he's coming to lose in the fight with Bivo. So I really thought this time he was going to come, really put a lot of actions, try to redeem himself. Not that he has to prove himself to anybody. He's a great fighter. He has a legendary career. But, you know, this time Canelo, uh, GGG is 40 years old. Canelo is 32, literally on his prime. And I really thought he was going to come and um, really just go for the knockout. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Uh, nevertheless, the fight had its moments. Some good moment, moments, some bad moments. Uh, Canelo did end up with a cut. You know, but the corner did a great job controlling the, ble uh, the bleeding. And he really didn't play any significant factor on the outcome of the fight. Uh, Canelo did win the fight. And um, basically, that's what it was. But let's look. Let's look into this fight. So what worked for Canelo? He came with less muscle weight. Uh, he looked slimmer. Some of his fights, especially his left fight, he looks really muscular. Which I think it doesn't really help his cardio, his stamina. So he did a good job. He, he uh, look, uh, he had like more energy, which he was good. He went to the body from the get go. I really did like that. Canelo was going to the body all throughout the fight. He never stopped going to the body. So that's something that I truly enjoy. He used his jab. You know, he would use his jab not only to keep GGG away, but also as a range finder and just keep tapping and tapping into GGG, which I was happy to see that. Uh, fought mostly in the middle of the ring. Which is better for him. You know, Canelo cannot fight against the ropes. We saw that happen with Bebo. So that's pretty good of him. He had better cardio than anticipated. And I think this is related to come having less weight density. So that was good for him. Good for his corner. They made the adjustments. So that was pretty good. He threw more combinations. Not by, mu by much. But previous fight, he's been relying a lot. Just throwing one punch at a time. Going for the knockout. This time, he was using the jab and better combinations. And far coming forward. Canelo cannot fight uh, going backwards, so he was actually pressing the fight a little bit more. He was trying to stay in the middle of the ring, had his moments, he kept pressing forward. So overall, he did make some adjustments, and I was happy to see those adjustments. I was quite surprised to see um, some of them. What didn't work for Canelo? Uh, his lack of combinations. I mentioned just earlier he had a little bit better combinations, but even with that, he could have done a better job with throwing better combinations, combinations five, six punches, you know, to try to break the defense from GGG. But his combination was mostly, mostly uh, three punches, two punches at a time. So I thought he could have done a better job with that. Uh, not enough pressure. And what I mean by that, uh, GGG really wasn't doing much. He was really not doing much. So you're coming from losing the fight. You have a fighter in front of you that has respectable power, but he's not really throwing a lot of punches. So he could have put a lot more pressure on that. Lack of determination to engage and look for the knockout. Like I said before, uh, GGG wasn't doing much. So he really could have pressed the fight, uh, put GGG against the ropes and to use more combinations, try to go for the knockout and diversify his attack. Like I was saying, he really didn't throw a lot of combinations. His combinations look kind of similar, using the jab, using the left hook, occasionally using the right. He was going to the body, which I thought that was beautiful. And I think that that play a um, big factor in GGG, especially taking a lot of his legs and a lot of his power. So I was very happy with that. But overall, he could have diversified that more, uh, use his uppercut, use his jab, left hook, just better combinations. 
So let's look at GGG. What worked for GGG? He used his jab to keep his distance. Throughout the fight and really early in the beginning, he started using his jab. So I think he did a beautiful job with that. Um, so that helped uh, keep Canelo away from him. So that was good. Uh, good body movement. Uh, GGG basically came to the fight just looking not to get knockout. So he kept moving away. He was using good body movement. He was using his legs to stay away from trouble. So overall, he did a good job on that. You know, we cannot take that away from him. So I was very happy to see that. He avoided getting pushed against the ropes, which is very important. Canelo pushed you on the ropes, and then he unloads on you. So that was pretty good. He did a good job with that. He came with good cardio. He came prepared. Uh, he, looked, he looked muscular, but at the same time, he was able to maintain some of his stamina, especially he picked up the pace on the second half of the fight. So he did a good job with that, and that tells a lot about the preparation that he had. Like I said before, he picked up the rate on the second half of the fight, and that all correlates to the good cardio and the good preparation that he had. Um, and also, his natural power. I think Canelo does respect the power that GGG has, and it was a determining factor. Uh, GGG wasn't connecting a lot, but when he did, I think Canelo uh, felt the power. And that's one of the reasons why he didn't just unload on him and kept pressing, you know, to end the fight early. So what didn't work for GGG? Attacking the body. I mean, I just don't get it. It's one of the most frustrating things that I that I, I was experiencing watching the fight. GGG was really not going for the body. It was so frustrating. Attack that body. Take Canelo's legs. Take some of his cardio. Uh, his lack of determination. He was happy just there using the jab, occasionally let go of the right hand, but he was happy just being there not getting hit basically. He didn't come to fight. I think personally, uh, and that's my next point, he trained to fight 12 rounds, but what I mean by that is not to really engage in the fight and look for the knockout. He just had a good um, um, cardio and just try to survive the 12 rounds. Uh, he was holding back on his punches a lot. And I don't understand that. On the second fight, I saw that a lot. Like he let go his hands, but really kind of afraid of getting counter. So he just kind of holding back on his punches. Uh, not throwing a lot of combinations. He was happy throwing one or two punches at a time. He didn't use the uppercut. He didn't use anything. He never went for the body. So Canelo never had to worry about that. And not capitalizing on his powers. If he throws combinations, he used his natural power. He really could have hurt Canelo, but... He didn't do that and, you know, he wasted a lot of good opportunities. Overall, a good fight could have been better.